Hey, good optometry morning. Today we are talking about the most common cause of dry eye, and it is not not having enough tears. Hey, I'm Dr. Michael Nelson, your YouTube eye doctor, and the number one cause of dry eye disease is not that you don't have enough tears, but it's that you have poor quality tears. It's the quality, not the quantity. So the tear film layer protects and lubricates the front surface of the eye in order to have clear and stable vision. Now, there's a bunch of different layers of the tear film, but one of the critical layers is the top lipid layer, and this is the layer produced by the meibomian glands in the lids, and it prevents the tears from evaporating off too quickly. And so if the meibomian gland is not producing a very good quality or very much lipid layer, then your tears are gonna evaporate off too quickly. Now, normally that tear layer, after you blink, it won't start to evaporate until about eight or 10 seconds. But if there's an abnormal tear layer, then that tear layer can evaporate in a few seconds or sometimes instantaneously as soon as you blink. So when that tear film starts to evaporate, that's gonna cause a few symptoms. So number one, it's gonna cause the surface of the eye to be exposed to the air. And that's gonna cause burning, itchy, irritated, dry, sore eyes. It's also gonna cause blurred, fluctuating vision because you need a stable tear film to provide clear vision. And it's also gonna cause watery eyes. And the reason why it causes watery eyes is because when the tears evaporate off the surface, it exposes the very delicate pain and touch fibers that are located in the surface of the cornea to the air. And when that happens, your eye thinks that something's in it. And its response to that is produce a very watery tear to kind of flush out all whatever is in, in the eye, which is great for flushing out stuff, but it's not great for reestablishing that nice tear film on the surface of your eye. And so that's why when you go outside and go for a walk, or if you have air conditioning or defrost blowing on your eyes, your eyes will often start to water. And a watery eye is a hallmark sign of a dry eye. So with each blink, your lids squeeze a little bit of malbum liquid into the tear film to help establish a healthy tear film layer. And so that's also one of the reasons why computer and screen use can cause dry eye because when we work on a screen, studies show that our blink rate can reduce by up to 50%. And when you're not blinking, you're not squeezing malbum into the tear layer, and that can cause your tears to evaporate off faster. Now, this whole scenario where your malbomian gland is not working properly and not producing as good a quality lipids or enough lipids for your tear layer is called malbomian gland dysfunction, or MGD for short. And if you wanna learn a little bit more about MGD, you should watch this video right here. And with that, have a great optometry day.